beat SpaceX. That's definitely what Jeff Bezos and Blue Origin have always wanted to do, even in their nightly dreams. But more than 20 years on, with endless money sources, Blue Origin still can't find a way to surpass their biggest opponent. Yeah, the competition between the two U.S. aerospace giants hasn't just begun. It's lasted for more than 20 years and will continue to get more fierce. So why do two companies have such a long competition? Why does Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin want to beat out Elon SpaceX so badly? Find out in today's episode of Alpha Tech. The two companies have always competed with each other since their inception, such as competing for each NASA contract, constantly creating new products, and new engines to surpass their competitor. The competition has even spread to many other aspects, like commercial, media corporations, legal matters, and more. First, let's summarize some basic info about the two companies. Blue Origin began in 2000 and was founded by billionaire Jeff Bezos. The company specializes in the production and launch of rockets, spacecraft, and heavy launch vehicles. Its CEO, Jeff Bezos, is an ambitious billionaire who currently owns many large corporations, including the world's largest multinational company, Amazon. On the other side of the battlefield, SpaceX was founded in 2002 by billionaire Elon Musk. This company specializes in manufacturing engines, rockets, spacecraft, and heavy launch vehicles, as well as providing launch services and satellite communication technology. SpaceX's CEO, Elon Musk, is a talented leader who also owns many famous corporations in the world like Tesla Motors, Neuralink, and Twitter, just to name a few. Thus, when comparing the two companies, we can see they don't have too much of a difference in years of experience in the aerospace field. Both have talented leaders and strong financial resources. However, in most stages, aspects, or achievements, Blue Origin seems to always lag behind its biggest competitor, although there's no difference in their starting point. Even if we analyze this problem more closely, Blue Origin actually has a slight edge over SpaceX. So let's look at why Blue Origin is losing out to SpaceX by taking some examples and comparisons. We can look at the launch history of both companies with spending hundreds of millions, if not even billions of dollars. It's surprising that the total number of the Blue Origin vehicles launches, including test flights and official flights, is less than a tenth of SpaceX's total launches. While SpaceX has launched hundreds of rockets and spacecraft among them, Falcon 9 has become the most launched vehicle in the world. Blue Origin has only 30 launch times for all its vehicles. Obviously, SpaceX's performance is much better than its competitor. Blue Origin's slowness is also reflected in its first launch. Founded before SpaceX, it took Blue Origin 15 years to conduct its first official launch. That was the new Shepard back in April 2015. In contrast, although founded later, SpaceX had its first rocket launch in 2006 with the Falcon 1 rocket, which is nearly a decade earlier than Blue Origin. Talking launch results, while SpaceX has Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy has continuously brought the cargo and Crew Dragon spacecraft carrying goods and people to the ISS. Blue Origin has never launched to orbital altitude, and they're still struggling to find a way to make that happen. Next, let's talk about the current projects of both Blue Origin and SpaceX. Since 2012, the two companies started launching their own projects, including New Glenn of Blue Origin and Starship of SpaceX. However, while SpaceX has continuously built and tested its boosters and starships, preparing to conduct historic flight missions, Blue Origin's new Glenn project has constantly been delayed and delayed. On top of that, in 2019, Jeff Bezos also introduced a lunar lander project called Blue Moon, with the goal of returning Americans to the moon. But this project still remains just a design on paper. In 2021, an event marks another victory for SpaceX over Blue Origin after NASA awarded SpaceX a lunar lander contract worth $2.9 billion. Not accepting this decision, Blue Origin filed a lawsuit against both NASA and SpaceX, but the court ruled in favor of NASA and SpaceX, allowing NASA to continue their contract with SpaceX. And besides receiving a contract from NASA, SpaceX also won Blue Origin in the legal realm, with a painful punch in its opponent's face and making all the efforts from Jeff Bezos and his company become a farce. For those who don't like to look to the past, here's the most recent example of Blue Origin's defeat at the hands of SpaceX. Back in May, SpaceX had just announced the test results of the Raptor 3 engine, with amazing statistics, helping to reinforce its upcoming projects. 
On the contrary, recent times can be said to be terrible for Blue Origin. Boom! A big explosion with its BE-4 engine during testing happened. This explosion not only caused the engine to be destroyed and damaged the infrastructure at the test area, but it also made Blue Origin the main comedic character of newspaper and other social media throughout the past week. Now, with maybe just a couple exceptions, it's clear Blue Origin is always lagging behind. From the past to the present, and even into the future, Blue Origin's defeat can be attributed to many causes. It can be due to the wrong initial orientation of the owners, defects in the operating system and working style, weakness in the planning and estimating ability, and lots more. But whatever the cause, losing out like this time after time has to be unacceptable for a big company like Blue Origin and an ambitious guy like Jeff Bezos. This is probably one of the main reasons why they want to beat SpaceX, because no one wants to always be on the losing end of the stick. Apart from this, though, there's still many other reasons why Blue Origin wants to beat out SpaceX so badly. First, it's the huge benefit of private and government contracts, which is very understandable. Because if your country is the biggest and most reliable, your company should be the first priority of government and private companies whenever they want to cooperate, sign a contract, or assign a task. This doesn't only help them out economically, but also in other areas like commercial and communications. The second reason is to gain the trust of the government and the American people. It's clear with the leading country of the aerospace industry in the world, the government and the American citizens alike have always had an interest in the space race between companies to see whether those companies can work effectively, really make a new step, and deserve the taxes that people have to pay each year or not. Once you have the trust of the government and their people, the company's operation becomes way easier. Finally, it's just the title of being the leading aerospace company in the U.S., the goal that every aerospace company dreams of. That position becomes even more important and special in the present day and age when there's other big countries and regions out there like Russia, Europe, India, and especially China that are getting fiercely competitive with the U.S. in the aerospace sector. So becoming the top dog in the U.S. means that the company will become a banner bearer representing the U.S.'s aerospace sector to compete with the other countries across the globe in the space race. Whatever the reason, it can be said that in the current direct competition between the two companies, Blue Origin is gradually being left a very long distance behind by SpaceX. If Blue Origin does want to become the biggest aerospace company and achieve all their goals, there's no other way to do it but to come from behind and beat out SpaceX. But how and when are they going to do that? Maybe we still need more time to get the answer, because at the moment, when looking at Blue Origin, we still don't see anything on the horizon showing they'll beat out SpaceX. And for fans of SpaceX, they're probably very happy and proud of everything that SpaceX has accomplished and being optimistic about the steps and plans that they have in the future and always thinking SpaceX is going to continue being the most successful private aerospace company in the world. As for Blue Origin, will they ever beat out SpaceX or continue to just get a participation trophy in the space race? Let's wait and see what Jeff Bezos and his associates come up with. And that's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments section below. Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.